Greetings from Bulgaria. I'm Volk with a lightning fast update for Star Wars The Old Republic Summer of PvP. I'm not going to go into much detail because the changes you're about to hear and see from me today here, guys, are not final and they're up for discussion or for changes. The um, public test server should be available at some point to be able, all of you, hopefully, to test these changes. And as soon as it's available, I will do my best to alert you. And of course, I will remind you of my existing guide of how to install and uh, make PTS work. So the two major goals that BioWare is uh, aiming to achieve with the changes are to shorten the average time of the existing war zones to be about 12 minutes. Because as you very well know, some of them can be much, much longer, which is not intended. The shorter war zones are because usually one team is far better than the other, and that's working as intended. The second major goal is that Bauer wants to prevent exploits and uh, fix as much exploitable areas and uh, situations as possible, primarily targeting Voidstar and uh, all around here. So, what they want to do with Voidstar, they want to give the offense team a much better chance of uh, completing the objectives and not be stuck for um, the whole duration of the uh, round. Uh, in front of the first door. You can see the proposed changes behind me. Of course, as I mentioned already, they are up for, up for testing and discussion, not final. Uh, for, the un uh, for the ancient hypergate, the intended change is to um, give a meaning to the orbs, basically. Power is increasing several times and in a progression manner. Uh, each orb that you pick up from the center and deliver to your pylon because they want to make this meaningful gameplay feature and part of the war zone. For the older on, uh, turrets will uh, now damage ships for uh, a little bit more than intended because, again, the major uh, idea here is to shorten the duration of older on. And the major changes relate to the mirror or the copy map for uh, older on, the Yavin 4 dig site. Bauer wants to further differentiate the uh, map from Alderaan by punishing players who get killed with the intended change is uh, two points. So if you get killed, your team loses two points. That's a little bit scary and dangerous because this is a normal war zone. It's not trying PvP and it's very likely to increase the hate speech and trash talk. But we'll see. Tell me what you think about these changes. I'm very eager to hear and see your opinions. And if you want to write something more in-depth and more constructive, I will definitely forward that to the Bauer developers uh, for them to check it out. Thank you, guys. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. 